to beat Notts County, Crewe and Brighton. It meant another chance for midfield loan signings David Priest and Scott Leach to earn the chance of full contracts. There's plenty of experience in the Bournemouth side. Russell Beardsmore, formerly with Manchester United, was in the defence. And their top scorer is Steve Jones, the former West Ham striker. We join commentator Jed Pittman early in the first half. Picked on by Thorne. Encouraging start by Bournemouth. They've hustled Swindon Town a little bit. And they've forced a mistake as well from Bowden. And it's Taylor who comes back and cleans things up. Steve Robinson it was who didn't make the most of it. For a moment it was three against one. And Taylor, the long defender, saved Bowden's embarrassment. Jones coming in from Beardsmore. All that though comes away with it still. This is Priest. Bowden. Easily cleared though by Bournemouth. As they look for their lone striker, Steve Jones. And pushed and hustled all the way by Culverhouse. It does well though, Jones. And might get a shot in and does. And Talia forced to make what looked like. A fairly comfortable save in the end. Allison. And now Thorne. This is Allen. And Allen taking on Brissett and taking on well. And that's Horlock. Good skill from Horlock. 1-0. And Swindon with their first real attack against the run of play, have taken the lead, and it's Kevin Horlock with his third goal in three games. Not surprisingly these days, who's the scorer. Great control on the edge of the penalty area. The shot certainly taking a deflection off Owen Cole, but it ended up where every effort from Horlock's ending up at the moment, and that's in the back of the net, and Swindon lead by a goal to nil. Looking forward from Jones to Holland. It's still Holland. Oh, what a good effort as well from him. Thumping against the crossbar. Talia well beaten. There's some good movement off the ball, but he decided after a little dummy to go it alone. And Talia nowhere near it. Robinson beaten to it this time. Jones is. Making one of his powerful runs again for the free ball. And he goes for a little shot as well. As claims that Talia got a touch on it. It certainly wasn't going in. Just, just fouled by Leach. And Bailey with the free kick. And Jones makes it 1-1. Steve Jones, he's threatened all afternoon. And what a marvellous celebration he's giving his uh, Bournemouth fans as well. A long run towards them to celebrate his 19th goal of the season. Sneaking in ahead of Mark Robinson. And Bournemouth deservedly back on level terms. Sit. Robinson waiting for the ball in the middle. So too, a chance possibly for Ian Cox. Robinson managing to get it away though. Well, he's swinging at six and sevens at the moment in defence, and they are caught out again as the lunging effort came in from Bailey. Alison, oh, what a good save. Jimmy Glass. He's not had too much to do so far today. Colton picked the ball out the net once, and just before half time, it was off. A pretty useful save. Robinson. 
Exactly. And a bad effort as well by Robinson that might fall for Thorne. Call in the end getting it away though. Well, Thorne showing his power from Robinson's shot and just unable to keep his balance at the appropriate moment. Trying to win the header there fairly comfortable. This is Thorne. He's got Allison in support. Horlock making a tremendous run too. Thorne though going alone. And in the end, Jimmy Glass comes out and makes a save at his feet. Much better start the second half though for Swindon. Now. Horlock. Oh, a little bit over elaborate from Kevin Horlock, but they still might get something, Swindon. But myself, that's all that should have given his scoring record, trying to shot himself there. As it is, Cox and now Holland break out for Bournemouth. And Jones makes it 2 1. All of a sudden, a chance for Swindon at one end, and Jones puts Bournemouth in the driving seat at the other. Well, all over the place again, the defence as they've gone forward. Jones beating Taylor to it, and did so with ease. The South Coast side had the lead. And now a real test for Swindon. We're beginning to celebrate the promotion party even before this game began. We thought an absolute certain three points here. As it is, it do well to get one. Horlock, Robinson, Leach should have done a good deal better. Priest with the free kick. And Taylor. Well, Taylor's so used to scoring goals, you almost expect him to get them from this kind of position. Rose so well at the far post. And not too far away. Priest. Taylor. Allison. Who's it going to fall for? Allison eventually spreading it away. Warlock. Robinson. Well, again, four for Allison. Just not bouncing their way at the moment at all. Now claims to a penalty, and the referee points to the spot. And Swindon Town have a moment of luck in this game. Well, very, very harsh indeed. It was given for handball against the number six, John Bailey, there. Guess it will be booked for his protests. And here's Horlock. 2 2. Swindon back on level terms. And on the way, hopefully, for a vital point. Smash straight down the middle. But you have to say, the referee's decision was a very harsh one. So hard this afternoon. And another fine Holland and oh, Taylor just left it for a moment and Holland continued his run. Well, they got something there. Dying seconds of the game as the corner comes across from Priest and well claimed by Glass. No last minute goal possibly here for Swindon Town. There goes the final whistle and Swindon well still have to wait to seal their promotion. I thought we were very disappointing throughout. We, we never got going. Bournemouth uh, come out the blocks flying. We, 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 we were slow to react to them. And uh, for, for a top of the table team, I thought we were very disappointing. Was there any reason for that you could put on? Maybe pre promotion nerves, if you like? I don't think it was nerves. Maybe they've got carried away in, in the, the good publicity we've had over the last week or so. Maybe they, they thought the, the, the winning post was there. Um, it's not there till you've done it. And uh, if they don't realise after today's performance, then we never will. Kevin Horlock, four goals in three games now. He's, uh, he's getting these vital goals at vital times. 14 and all he scored this season, which is fantastic for any, um, for any midfield player. He must be proud of himself. Um, it's, he works tirelessly, so he's always going to get in positions to score goals, always. He's a, he's a fit lad. 
he, he runs up and down all day and I'm pleased for him. Well, Mark, the term promotion jitters is something of a cliche in football, but that's more or less what Swindon were suffering from yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, they have, Will. I mean, they're so near, aren't they, to winning? Of course, over the Easter period, when not only their results went for themselves, but the rest of the results of the teams closest to them, certainly Blackpool and the likes of Crewe and Notts County, Chesterfield, etc. And you just feel at the moment it just needs one extra special effort. I think it can come on Wednesday night, because I'm sure that uh, Oxford and Notts County play out the manor ground on uh, Tuesday, if that's a draw and Swindon beat Burnley at home on Wednesday, then they are promoted. But they're just really one result away from it. But they were yesterday, of course. You have to say in Bournemouth's uh, defence that uh, not many teams have outplayed Swindon, but they really came to the county ground yesterday. Yeah, but it's always, it's always, yeah, it's always a good time to come as well against a team that's always well fancied to get promotions. This was uh, Swindon's opener. Great control, great piece of skill from Hall at bursting into the penalty area. I think. Alan was the boy initially with it. And this was actually a poor goal for Swindon to concede. They had almost nine, ten players back in there when the free kick came in. Poor marking on Jones. He looked a handful uh, all day yesterday. He looked happy there, didn't he? Oh, yeah, some celebration. In fact, the, se the second celebration, which is from this goal, was better. This was a classic breakaway goal, wasn't it, of the, uh, the opposition side. I think it was in total five passes, good running, good movement, good ball into the box. Jones timed his run. And then, of course, we have to put this in. This will keep you happy, won't it? You just needed a rusty nail, didn't he, on the edge of the pitch? And, and he was in trouble. But uh, it was a good performance by Bournemouth. And uh, really, the, the penalty incident, to be fair, never in a month of Sundays no, was that I mean, a penalty. It was in a penalty. And, and the key when we show the incident is the fact of, a, of David Priest, really, because when the, when the ball gets played in, eventually, here he is on it. And it, just, it comes off the chest of the Bournemouth defender. And Priest carries on playing. Here we have it, a better angle actually. It's, it's almost hits him underneath the neck. His hands never actually touch the ball. Priest continues to play. I think Taylor peeled for a penalty, but this is one way to slot it away. Reminiscent of Francis Lee, although, although of course you'll never know Francis Lee. Way before my time. And we have a great angle from behind the goal. This is exactly what the goalkeeper faces, and Hollock was only ever going to blast it. And that uh, really got swimming a point yesterday. But they have been so very, very close to it. They have got this a bit of anxiety, a bit of tension, a bit of pressure, and they just know that one decent performance will just push them over the edge. Another cliche, maybe, but they do say that if you pick up points when you're not playing well, that's the sign of a good team. Yes, they've done it. And uh, really, they've got promotion on their away form. We, we dissected Bristol Rovers before and said their home form was poor. And Swindon's home form hasn't been poor, but it's not been half as good as their away form. And that's because away from home, the opposition have to come at you. And Swindon, the way they're set up with the three centre-backs, it far suits them better than any other side in the league.